Another day, another commitment for the Georgia Bulldogs. This time, Darius Smith, a 6'6", 225 defensive end out of Appling County in Baxley, Georgia. Small town kid, big time player. What's going on, guys? Matt DeBerry, dogpost.com. Big commitment, a number of different reasons. Uh, the first one is Georgia's absolutely loading up on the defensive line in the 2022 class. They got Tyree West out of Tiff County. Uh, just yesterday, uh, one of the best prospects in the 22 class in the state. He could play defensive tackle, defensive end. And now they have Darius Smith, another small town kid uh, who's an elite pass rusher. Uh, limited film, uh, limited offers right now, but that's all going to change. This is a guy who could play outside linebacker, defensive end. He knows how to get after the passer. A little bit raw still, but he comes from a program in Appling County where they just breed toughness. Um, he's a smart kid. He's dedicated. He's motivated to be the best player he can be. And if you watch the film, it's easy to see why he is an SEC caliber player and why Georgia offered him last month. So again, he's not going to have five stars by his name just yet. He doesn't have the Ohio State offer, the Alabama, the Clemson offer. But Georgia offered him about a month and a half ago, mid-October, and you know they wanted him on the commit list. So that tells you how much they want him and how good of a player he can be at the next level. He can get after the passer. Like I said earlier, he can stop the run. He doesn't go against the best competition week in and week out in a small town like that. But when you watch the film, it's easy to see the potential that he has. So um, just, just there's a lot to like about his game. If you're new to recruiting, you probably haven't heard of him because he's just now bursting onto the scene. But He's dominating at this level, and that's what you want out of a small-town kid. He should be dominating if he's good enough to be at the University of Georgia, and that's what he's doing. And when I watch the film, I think of Leonard Floyd. Uh, again, 6'6", 225. I don't know if he's really 6'6". That's what he's listed at. That's pretty tall, but he does have the length. He does have the size. And again, he's just a junior, and he already clicks. You know, He checks the boxes of the physical tools. So as long as he continues to get better and develop, which he should at a program at Appling County and then, of course, at Georgia, uh, the sky is the limit for this kid. Um, again, he's, he's not going to be atop the rankings right now, but that ranking will improve. He's an outstanding player just based on the film alone. I haven't seen him play, but he, he's dominating the league he's in. He's taking care of the offensive tackles uh, that he's going against. He's going to have to do that at the next level. Uh, the one thing that I caught my eye the most is that he gets off blocks. Yes, he has the length. He can beat you with speed and strength, but he knows how to get off blocks. He uses his hands well, and that's what you need to do going up against top offensive tackles in the SEC. The five stars committed to Alabama, Clemson, Florida, Notre Dame, so on, Ohio State. If you want to beat those offensive tackles, not only do you have to have length and speed and strength, but you have to know what you're doing. You have to get off blocks and then get after the passer, get after the ball carrier, wherever he is, and that's what he can do. So his best football is ahead of him 100%, but uh, it's easy to see the potential he has on film because he's dominating his opponents. Again, it's you know he's not going against great competition, but... When you don't, you should be dominating on every play, and that's what he does. So Georgia likes him enough to add him to the commit list here in the 2022 class, and it's a big pickup. I think he's going to rise in the rankings. I like everything about him, but mostly it's the potential that he has. He's just scratching the surface of what he can be at the next level. So this is a big-time pickup for Kirby Smart and uh, the Georgia Bulldogs. They don't accept everyone on the commit list. That's how good he is. So they thought enough of him. After uh, you know his junior season now to accept him as a commitment, he's only going to get better as a senior next year and then uh, improve even more once he gets into Georgia, into the strength and conditioning program, adds weight, adds muscle, and continues uh, to keep that athleticism and that burst off the line that you see on film. So um, again, he could beat you in multiple ways. He can get off blocks. Um, still a little raw, but he's going to develop. He's got the physical tools. He's got the traits there that you you look for first. He's got all that. Um, and it looks like he has the athleticism too on film. So if he continues to learn and develop like I think he will, he's going to be a really good player for the Georgia Bulldogs. That's what I expect out of him. And um, you know, this, is, I believe, is the fifth commitment for Georgia in the 2022 class. And all of them are in-state kids. Uh, Tyree West, defensive end, defensive tackle. Um, you've got Darius Smith here. You can play outside linebacker, defensive end. C.J. Washington out of Cedar uh, Cedar Town, another big pass rusher. Could play inside linebacker, defensive end. Marquis Groves Killebrew, the cornerback from Brookwood, and then Dion Bowie, a five-star athlete from Bainbridge, who I think will be a lockdown cornerback. So, uh, 
Georgia, they're ready. They're building that defensive class in 22. They're doing a great job of it. And they got another big piece of that puzzle, another big pass rusher from the outside linebacker position, a guy who can get after the passer. It looks like Leonard Floyd to me on film. And if you're a Georgia fan, you have to love that. He's got the length, the speed, the strength, and the potential to be a very, very good player sooner than later. So uh, if you're a Georgia fan, go check out the huddle and make sure you go on the dog post for the latest on Dara Smith, Georgia's newest commitment in the 2022 class. Guys, thanks for watching this video. I always appreciate it. Y'all know that. Make sure to stay tuned to the next video coming up right now, and I will see y'all over on the website.